Okay, basically we've got our 12, 12 uh, tuner circle hook, 250 pound carbon coated wire, it's two meters in length. We're just snelling our hook at the moment, coming into the right place there, pulling him tight. Let's take our trusty old lighter here. And all we're doing is just melting the carbon coating that's on it. So in other words, the plastic, just so it holds it in place, it doesn't undo itself. That's all we're pretty much doing at the moment. Here we go. One done. And we're just going to repeat this five times. So basically just grab it, take your carbon coated wire, bend it around the eye of the actual hook there. Five, six times, up to you. Back through, pull tight, and our trusty lighter. Hopefully, you don't run out of any lighter fluid. And this takes the longest part of the whole trace, is actually melting this plastic. There it goes. There we go. Next one for the camera. So, basically, what we do now is we take our 1 0 power swivel. And we're going to attach it to our 250 pound wire and the way we do it is again it's just a figure of eight so all we do go around twice like so take the tag in force it in through the back put your finger and your hand basically in over there open up your figure of eight there it is there grab a pair of pliers and i'm just going to change hands quickly so i can do it this way so you can actually see and all you do is the tag end, we just grab our tag end, pull it until the figure of eight pulls tight over there. Take it then, slide it down. And again, stick your round nose pliers through it, all your pliers, and you pull as hard as you can. So make sure nothing slips. And basically you'll see your figure of eight is pulled tight. Here we go, cut off the tag end. Take off our tag end area. 250 pound doesn't cut that easy. Gosh. And we just straighten a little bit of wire at the end here that's rounded. Obviously, as you pull it tight, it rounds off. And there it is there. There is the finished trace. Now, what we're going to do now is take a bit of nylon about that long and attach our sinker to it. That's all we're going to do. Our leader, 1.5, two more line basically goes on here, all the way through. But this part here, short piece of nylon, this is the only part that actually gets tangled up, but the rest of the wire stands free in the water and allows those big fish to pick it up. Simple as that, quick and easy. One of the easiest traces you can make for drone fishing, guys. So explain that. Okay, so we're taking number two, because this is 250 pound, we're taking our number two Kingfisher um, sleeve, that's the single sleeve. We're now going to attach it on the end there. Slide through. There we go. And about 50 centimeters away, we're going to take round nose pliers. We're basically going to crimp it. So if you've got a crimping tool, you can use it. I like the round nose pliers. And you squeeze it. Then you turn it 90 degrees, squeeze again. And once again now what we're going to do is take our number five soft bead it's a glow in the dark soft bead size five it's a five millimeter and you're going to find the hole i'm putting my glasses on because i'm half blind Find the hole and you'll find, if you just twist it nicely, it goes on very snug. To get it to slide down, the easiest way to do is just to lubricate it slightly. A little bit of moisture on it and it actually slides down quite nicely, all the way to the end. That's your stopper bead, basically. Then, we take number two power swivel. Slide that on. That'll be for your sinker now. Okay. 
And once again, we go back to our number 10 power swivel over here. We're going to tie our figure of eight once, twice. Take the tag in back through it again like that. Open it up. Have our own nice pliers. Pull the figure of eight tight. Just a bit of lubrication and just slide him up. Until he comes nice and tight and snug towards it. Put around those pliers in there and then we pull as hard as we can to get the knot to seat properly. And we're going to cut off the tag end and we're good to go. Cut off the tag end. And we just take our wire, you can see there's a little bit of a kink there. It's your fingers, and you can see the kink is gone. A little bit there, kink is gone. There we go. So now what happens is, we can throw this out, the shark picks it up. Obviously there you give you a, a little bit of time for the shark to actually feed. He takes, he feeds, hold on tight, and you've got it. So there's your throw bait one, not your drone one. So that's for throw baits. The one I did before was for droning.